You hate more content farm hell. <laughs> yeah. The first one is wouldn't it be chilly? AKA SB thirty one fourteen. Item SCP-3114, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3114 is be held in a 3 meter by 7 meter enclosure surrounded by reinforced steel with impact glass windows for observation. A smaller 1 meter by 2 meter cell is attached to contain 3114 when its enclosure needs to be entered for maintenance, enrichment, or inspection. When 3114 is to be moved from one section to another, a projection of a human subject will be displayed on a wall in, des in the desired area. Once 3114 attacks a projection, the door will be closed. No personnel are to enter 3114's enclosure outside of approved testing procedures. Description SCP-3114 is an an avid human skeleton, it stands approximately 1.6 meters tall and weighs 30 kilograms. Though it has no articulation or connective tissue, its individual bones remain in place as they would in a human body. Individual bones can be pulled out of position but quickly return to their current position when, when there is no longer an outside force acting on them. Though 3114 is made of similar minerals as, bone, as human bone, it is much denser and stronger, requiring more than three times as much force to break. A broken bone will mend, though it takes several weeks for, for a larger bone. There is no current explanation for 3114's ability to move, its observed range of motion, and its joints are similar to a healthy adult female's. It is mostly stronger than a he than a human of comparable size, is able to lift at least 250 kilograms with one arm, and has a measured grip strength of 270 kilograms. Its maximum observed foot speed is 60 uh, kilometers per hour. What? Yeah. 3114 is able to react to visual stimuli with an apparent field of a view similar to a human's. However, it does not react to sound or smell. It responds to touch, but it is difficult to test its sensitivity. It is extremely aggressive and immediately attempts to attack any time it sees a human or other biological humanoid. When it sees potential a potential target, 3114 will take the quickest and most direct route it can, only avoiding obstacles it cannot push through. Once it reaches the target, it will latch on with its hands and begin squeezing around the throat. Once the target has stopped moving, 3114 begins tearing openings in the target's body and pulling out its bones over the course of several hours. Once it has completed remove, remove the target's skeleton, it will attempt to pull the remaining flesh over itself. This tears the flesh into multiple parts. Once the body is no longer in one large piece, it loses interest in it. When no target is present, 3114 is fairly docile and explores its enclosure but does not attempt to escape. SCP Enrichment Project uh, Enrichment objects such as blocks, tires, cardboard boxes, and sticks are provided and replaced at regular intervals. When the lights are turned out for the night, 3114 lays down and becomes motionless. Though it resembles sleep, it, it is still capable of responding to visual stimuli. Experiment Log Excerpts Entry 3 D-1724 A 120 kilogram adult male Date Redacted D-1724 attempted to run when he saw 3114 approach When it caught him, he attempted to fight back but was unable to, to do appreciable damage to 3114 However, this did agitate 3114 a great deal and damage to the subject was greater than other observed cases. 3114 gave up removing the subject's bones part way through when it became clear the subject's body was not intact. The remains were placed in a corner. 3114 placed several sticks in, car in a cardboard box on top of the subject as though burying him. Cool. Entry 5 
Store mannequin dressed as a Class D personnel. Date redacted. 3114 ran to the subject as expected. However, it stopped several feet away. It stared at it for several minutes, then waved a hand in front of the subject's face. It seemed confused by the lack of facial features. It proceeded to touch the top of its head, tapping it several times before it finally carried it back to its enclosure, where it placed it in a corner. It mimicked its pose several times while standing next to it. It removed the mannequin's clothes and attempted to wear them. However, it was unable to operate the belt and could not keep the pants from falling. After several attempts, it appeared to grow frustrated. It removed the clothes, then threw them and the mannequin into a corner. Entry 6. Female Gorilla. Date redacted. 3114 approached the subject but did not become aggressive until the subject stood up. 3114 proceeded to engage its behavior. However, the gorilla was able to break 3114's left Yolna before it expired. 3114 was unable to fit itself into the subject's body, giving up after the body was no longer intact. It was buried in the corner as with previous subjects. Entry 9. Male Border Collie. Date redacted. 3114 approached the subject cautiously. It examined it with its fingers and seemed surprised when the dog licked it. It interacted with the dog for two hours, becoming visibly more excited. It appeared to be engaging in play behavior. It wrestled with the dog without harming it and threw sticks for it. At one point, the dog attempted to bite 3114's lower left leg, at which point 3114 struck it sharply, frightened the subject. However, neither appeared to have been seriously harmed, and both returned to their play. The subject was removed from the closure without incident. 3114 stood at the exit for several hours after the subject was removed, striking the walls repeatedly. However, it did not use enough force to cause damage to its enclosure. Entry 13. Human Endeavor. Female, 50 feet, 55 kilograms, two days after death. Date redacted. 3114 reacted as it, as it would to a live human including an attempt to crush its throat for several minutes, otherwise identical to tests with similarly sized life subjects. Entry 14. Human skeleton articulated for teaching. Date redacted. 3114 approached the subject rapidly but did not attack. Instead, it examined the subject for several minutes, then began to prod it. When this... Let's say it had no response. It ran its hand along the top of its subject's head. It then carefully removed the subject from its stand and carried it back to its enclosure. It cradled the subject for several hours. It then put the subject in the same position it takes during sleep periods. Entry 16. Human cadaver. Male. 155 kilograms. One hour after death. Date redacted. Subject reacted as in log entry 13. However, it was able to keep the body intact while placing itself inside. It walked around in its enclosure for an hour while wearing the subject. When a projection was shown to clean the enclosure, 3114 did not attempt to attack the projection. Instead, it walked up to it and began to attempt interaction. D-4843, an adult male, was placed in an enclosure. When 3114 approached, he attempted to escape. 3114 grabbed him, but did so gently. It continued to try interacting with him, taking his hand and placing it on his face, trying to ape its, his movements and, and embracing him. He reacted negatively to all interactions. After three hours, D-4843 was removed from the enclosure. 3114 waited for several minutes at the door, then it tore the subject off of itself. It kicked the remains into a corner, then laid down next to the subject of entry 14. It did not move for three days, at which point it resumed its normal behavior. This is just a sad anomaly. I, I think it's someone who died, but then after losing the flesh, for whatever reason, they did not stay dead. He yeah. said she has been trying to figure out how to communicate with people again. It explains how she reacted to people, the clothes. She wants to be a flesh person again. She wants to be able to speak and interact normally, but she can't speak. She's a skeleton. Even when she was wearing the corpse, she could not speak because corpse voices obviously do not work. 
Yeah, also, I I just saw the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you gotta the only have... corpse she put on was a male's corpse. Yes, she's a woman, but that doesn't make the corpse a woman. Uh, what? Why? Why do they sexualize her? She doesn't have bones. She's a skeleton. <laughs> Are they going to sexualize every single woman with, even without a pulse? <laughs> if Bugger says, Bugger says, but 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 tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. We got that. Yeah. Also, the the more I look at it, the more some of the bone parts don't look right. Like it's a bit off center. The photograph? Uh, hold on. I mean not photograph, you mean the art? Well that's because one, they did the ribs wrong. Two, the hand is wrong. You only need to examine human anatomy to realize how wrong it is. I only know this because of college classes. Before then, I knew basically nothing about human skeleton, but let me just pick up a, a picture very, very quick for you. Mm. Like for one, the spaces between the ribs for the rib cage is off and what well, uh, yeah that's what i was talking about just... huh that's what i was talking about because i know the rib cages like the spaces are not that big right well they're not that big because it literally exists for holding everything in place yeah wait i just noticed the background there's corpses <laughs> Don't let her keep bodies. <laughs> and there we go. A yeah. Other technically, let's face it, probably a photograph of a cup of a skeleton. The people in bunch of real skeletons anymore. Either way, it shows how wrong the rib cage is. Yeah. Besides the fact that the ribs are too far apart and they're not technically positioned correctly, I also forgot to include the part of the skeleton of the rib cage that holds everything together. You're not supposed to be easy to open. I sent the I sent it to Bookroom to you. Alright, so luckily this time, they did include the nickname, but they also included their own. Oh my god, I already see what they're doing. <laughs> and they did include the, did include the license, oh my god, they also included the license for 049 containment chamber. Uh, Are they going to add the plague doctor in here? <laughs> they're going to present her incorrectly, aren't they? Maybe. Are we ready? Yeah. Bookworm, are you ready? <laughs> Alright, then. Three, two, one. A sick, crunching sound. He could just make out the shape of a person, crouched down and facing away from him. There it was again. The sound sent a shiver down his spine. He recognized it, but hoped to God it wasn't what he thought it, it was. Is a skeleton Dude, booty. Yep. Stand up slowly, turn and face me. It ignored him. 
I said stop! Stand up and turn around! The crunching stopped. The figure slowly stood up, still facing away from him. Its body, its shape. It was contorted and bent in an inhuman way. As it turned around, his eyes grew wide in shock. This was no person. It moved towards him, the skin hanging off its bones. He stood, frozen to the spot. He tried to scream, but its fingers were around his neck already. Welcome back. Uh, Today I bring you SCP-3144. Yeah, she tried to attempt communication with a, a corpse on them. Four. Wouldn't it be chilly? Please remember to subscribe. What the hell? What is it? Security breach, sir. Unknown traffic detected in the internal network. Again? This is the third time this week. Carry on. Don't you sleep? On occasion. If you're looking for Kloss, he's not in the lab. Where is he then? Follow me. I have a suspicion. Come on, come on! Almost there. Just one more minute. <laughs> what yep. did I tell you? Seriously? <laughs> hey guys! What's up? I'll first see if there I actually is an ad. Before. If you're gonna do that, use NordVPN. Uh, yep. Click on my NordVPN link in the description. This exclusive deal can get you a two year NordVPN plan, plus one more month to on the examination table, if you could call it that. All that remained of the woman from the alley was her skin. Jesus, she's been flayed. Yeah, the bones and internal organs were found okay. in a pot. I'm just gonna. He keeps the organs in. Yeah. Also, here's another thing. I'm pretty sure the breast tissue would be damaged. I wouldn't be poking up like that. It would probably be sagging down. Well, they said it was literally only the skin. So. Yeah. They're saying the boob can hold its shape when it's only boob skin. Which no, he can't. The power of boob compels you. <laughs> the power of fat tits compels you. Also, she's just skin. Why is the face keeping its shape? I don't know. Kyle, a few meters away from the skin. What about the cop? Um, he's still missing. Sorta. What do you mean, sorta? We've got his, uh, bones and organs, but, uh... What? No, uh, no skin. Chen raised an eyebrow. So, the killer took his skin? It would appear so. An agent rushed into the lab. Dr. Claus, Agent Chen, we've got a hit on its whereabouts. What did you find? Surveillance from the cop's house spotted him returning home. He was moving... oddly. Alright, let's go check it out. Moving oddly? Like you're wearing a skin suit. The van slowed in front of the house. All right, let's keep it quiet. Yeah, doesn't remove the organs. Intel tells us the cop had a family. We don't know their condition, so we assume they're alive. Let's try to keep it that way. As they approached the house, they heard a window break from inside, and a child scream. Scratch that. Let's go. They burst through the front door. Huddled in a corner of the room was a figure holding two children. It turned its head to look at the agents. It was the cop. Or at least, what was left of his decaying skin. Hold up, Chen signaled. The creature turned its attention back to the children. Take it easy. Can you understand me? It made no sign of understanding or caring what Chen had to say. He took a step forward. It turned back and stared at him. Okay. Okay. Kloss came up from behind. Try the children. Try the what? The children. He doesn't seem to be harming them. If he lets them go, perhaps we can use them to lure him out. I don't know about this, Doc. Could get awful bad in a hurry. It's our best bet. He could have killed them already, but he hasn't. I'm betting he doesn't intend to. All right, let's give it a shot. The kids are Jame and Clarice. Okay. Hey there, James. Jame. What kind of name is Jame? It's in the file. Fine, fine. Jame. Can you try to stand up and slowly walk towards me? The boy shook his head. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. We'll make sure nothing happens to you. The girl slowly raised her hand. Clarice, do you want to try? She nodded her head. Okay, just slowly stand up and come towards me. 
The little girl stood up. The creature watched her, but didn't move. She slowly walked towards the agents. As she did, the creature stood. It's all right. Keep on coming. She moved forward again. The creature started to reach a hand out, but stopped when James stood up. He grabbed Clarissa's hand as she led him forward. The creature slowly followed, its skin hanging loose. You're doing great. Just a little further now. The two children reached the open van and stopped, the creature now alongside them. Clarice raised her hand and pointed into the open van. It looked at where her arm pointed and then back to her. She motioned once more and it climbed in. The door quickly shut behind. That was very brave of you. Agent, bring them all back with us. Why did they add that? The creature sat in the corner of its. I don't know. When, when, when they kept. Why did they fucking add eyeballs? I don't know. Maybe facial expressions? <laughs> How did they add violence? You know what? This one's easier to add violence to than the other few they have. Yeah. Containment cell. Most of the skin now discarded. It was a skeleton, an animated, somewhat living skeleton. It touched the remaining skin on its arm. It rubs a lotion on its skin. What? what? Oh, uh, nothing. No, Just reminded me of something. So, no, who or no. what is this thing? As you can imagine, we don't have much to go on. It's not like this thing has fingerprints. Pythia? Why, Chen? Do you miss our oracle? Just beating you to it, Doc. Sure. Well, well, we'll need a sample for her to get a reading. Um, how about the dog? A dog? For what? Distraction? I'd rather not send a couple of children in. Hmm, good point. The two D-Class look nervously into the room. Oh man, I don't know about this! Just take the dog with you, unleash it when you get inside. It'll oh, keep the thing distracted, Are and you sending? snap off a bone. What if a it what did you say? Are they sending a shaggy? Yes. Okay. For some reason, the skeleton with breast bones. For some reason, someone made a human skeleton with bones in the chest area just to point out it, it was a female skeleton. Doesn't like the oh dog. God. Then you better hope it likes her more than you. <laughs> the two walked into the cell with the dog. The first D class whispered to the other. You think he remembers us? I hope not. He was a terrible roommate. They unleashed the dog, what? which to their surprise went to the discarded what? skin in the corner. The skeleton watched intently, then crawled towards the dog. Oh, thank Christ for that. Uh, get the bone. The woman looked back in surprise. What? I brought the dog, you get the bone. She let out a sigh and made her way towards the corner. She nervously bent down and reached around the back of the skeleton. In a flash, she pulled her hand back and went running straight for the containment the door. You got it? Yeah, it would... mutilating it. And plus, it would be pulled right back. Yeah. <laughs> she nodded back anxiously, brandishing a small bone. That's, that's this is what they got us. I had to tow or something. Distal phalanx from the look of it. Chen raised an eyebrow. A pinky? Did someone say pinky? Need to get that containment cell soundproofed. Oh, Chen, what would be the point in that? You know as well as I do that this doesn't contain me. Show off. Toad. Toad? What the? Pythia, could you give us some insight on this? We have an SCP which is an animated skeleton. It's been on a bit of a killing spree. Juicy serial killer skeleton. It's not quite adding up though. It doesn't harm kids or animals. It's almost as if he's taking the skin to be human. They, they said he. They have kept calling her a he the whole time, yep. Let's have a look then, shall we? Kloss laid the bone down in front of her. They were in a basement. A what? solitary light bulb hung from the ceiling. Oh. Swinging gently from side this to side. This is from a movie. The I forgot what movie. The ground were earthen. Besides the staircase leading up, nothing set it apart from some sort of underground cave. In the center of the room, a dark hole had been dug under the light bulb. Chen moved towards the hole. Put the lotion in the basket. The door above the staircase creaked open. Light shone in. Chen took a step back 
Yep. Looking to the top of the stairs, a man in a oh gown God, descended the steps and walked towards the hole. In his arms <laughs> was a small dog. <laughs> To he the looked SCP, down into the SCP chasm and grinned to himself. Was subjects or something. He grabbed the rope they, suspended over the hole SCP and pulled until a bucket came from below. Inside were bones and bits of flesh. He turned to walk away. That's when they realized it. The robe he wore, the back of it was made from flesh. Human flesh. He was wearing a skin this, suit. This Chen stared at the man in SCP shock. He, he's yeah. the killer. Who knows how many people he's murdered? He's gonna stay locked up for the rest of time. Skinning people. It's not him. What? Chen turned back to see Pythia and Kloss kneeling by the open pit. What do you mean it's not him? Chen looked down into the hole. But who? The bone, Chen. The bone isn't that man's. It's hers. He's too big. This poor girl was the victim. That's why she doesn't hurt the children or animals. She's not a murderer. But if that's true, why did she kill the others? She doesn't understand anymore. She doesn't understand what she is. But why skin them? To recover the skin that monster took from her. She just wants to be human once more. What? SCP-3114 is an animate human skeleton. It stands approximately 1.6 meters tall and weighs 30 kilos. Though 3114 is made of what similar minerals as human bone. I know it's hard, but Jesus fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is much denser and stronger, requiring more than three times as much force to break. A broken bone will mend, though it takes several weeks for a larger bone. There is no current explanation of 3114's ability to move. Its observed range of motion in its joints are similar to a healthy adult female's. It is much stronger than a human of comparable size. It is able to lift at least 250 kilos with one arm and has a measured grip strength of 270 kilos. Its maximum observed foot speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Nope. When it sees a potential target, 3114 will take the quickest, most direct route it can, only avoiding obstacles it cannot push through. Once it reaches a target, nope. it will latch on with its hands and begin squeezing around the throat. Once the target has stopped moving, 3114 begins tearing openings in the target's body and pulling out its bones over the course of several hours. Once it has completely removed the target's skeleton, it will attempt to pull the remaining flesh over itself. This tears the flesh into multiple parts. Once the body is no longer in one large piece, it loses interest in it. 3114 is held in a 3 meter by 7 meter enclosure surrounded by reinforced steel, with impact glass windows for observation. A smaller 1 meter by 2 meter cell is attached to contain 3114 when its enclosure needs to be entered for maintenance, enrichment, or inspection. When 3114 needs to be moved from one section to another, a projection of a human subject will be displayed on a wall in the desired area. Once 3114 attacks the projection, the door will be closed. No personnel ought to enter 3114's enclosure outside of approved testing procedures. The things that happen to us craft what we become and how we deal with others. However, just because horrible things have happened to us, doesn't mean we are destined to do them to others. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share. Four. <laughs> they removed characters. By default, we have to give it a four with how many characters it removed. Yeah. It removed the actual D class in the story. It removed the gorilla. We barely got the dog. And well, I don't think I need to go on. Wait, have a care? They said that in every video? Yeah, they did. Added gore or violence? Uh, I feel like they added some, but not a lot. Yeah. A two or a three, what would you give it? Probably two. It, it, it's more tame than what they usually do. Yeah. Deviates from the plot of the article. Four. Four. Uh, only made the plot of Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Also, with the offensiveness, like, is calling someone a toad bad? Because 
but there you get sometimes does like racial remarks to her chin. So when she. Wait, are, are you asking if Toad is a racial remark? Not, no, I, Toad just means she's calling them ugly. Yeah, okay. Because it's. It, she's done a racial stereotype before. Yeah, in the video. Yeah, so it's not racist, it's just her being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfriendly person. <laughs> Me wanting to tell everyone of every gender who's acting a certain way a word I should probably not say on Twitch. Yeah, so offenses in a sesh only men in the video. They removed female characters, they misgendered the skeleton for over half of the video and they were sexist to the point where they added magical boob padding to a lady's skin. <laughs> what number would we put that at? Probably three or four. Would you call that three or four, Spoon? I don't know what you're talking about, but probably four. What does Bookworm think? And Zanju, since you're here too. What do you guys think? Four is worse. We're talking about an SCP that's a female skeleton. Mm -hmm. uh, in the video, the content farm made, mm -hmm. they had her pull off the skin of a woman that she didn't actually pull off in the file. And... They had the skin's boobs hold up on its own without any organs. And her face, because they had to have you know she was a pretty woman with boobs. Does that require fatty flesh? Not what? skin. From one to four, what would you rate that on sexism? That's a, that's a pretty high score for sexism. And poor anatomy, poor understanding of anatomy. Don't worry, we already know that they don't know anything about anatomy. You should see. In fact, this is the picture they did of skeletal structure earlier. That's their thumbnail. You see their, their yeah. I feel like your vibe is you're thinking four. You're thinking it's a four. Yeah. And if, a, if we could put a higher number, you'd want a higher number. <laughs> it says four sounds good just for the bad anatomy and boots. Okay. Spoon and Bookworm both say four. And you know what? I have to agree. Yeah. Which means it gets a whopping 10%. You know what? That's better than the 